What is going on, guys? I'm doing MJ's okay, Miles Marcus, okay, King with the regular video. And uh, so apparently, this is a new uh, Demon Slayer season two trailer 2021 shocking update. So, uh, apparently, this is kind of like a huge up update between like with the anime and everything. So, I kind of want I, I, it caught my interest. I kind of want to hear like what kind of information we'll be getting about with Demon Slayer season two. Um, so I figured, like, why not? Hey, sir. Check out, I'm sorry for y'all guys, like I said, I'm tired. Your boy's tired, bruh. I ain't gonna cook. I ain't gonna cap, you But see what we got going on, man. Check this video out, man. Let's go. Hopefully, we get some. Demon Slayer Season 1. Kometsu no Yeba. Turns out to be one of the most enjoyable new anime releases these days. And it's a welcome addition to Netflix's growing anime collection. The hit mega series. PR. I remember for, I never forget no Yaba, when Ninja said this anime is the greatest of all time. Remember we, the remember we said that on Twitter? Is still going strong with a second season set to premiere this year. Oh, Here's this a year. peek at everything you missed and everything you need to know about the upcoming anime Kometsu no Yaba Demon Slayer Season 2. Okay. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let's get to our movie feature for today. What is Demon Slayer? Production. Demon Slayer Season 1, which premiered last April 2019, soon became a hit for fans all over the world. In September of the same year, the season came to an end, but it was followed with the announcement of a movie sequel. Season 1 of Demon Slayer won the Anime of the Year Award at the 2020 Crunchyroll Anime yeah, Awards. Yeah, it as sure well did. As I, uh -huh. Best Anime at the 2019 New Type Anime Awards. Also, its movie version, Mugen Train, the Demon Slayer film, has since achieved several box office records in Japan. Yo, Japan, yo. This movie is blowing up in Japan, my boy. With Demon Slayer's this popularity, movie. a second season was all but guaranteed. Even though it ended earlier last 2019, the manga is still a bestseller in Japan. It has sold over 100 million copies since its release in 2016, making it one of the best-selling manga of all time. That's crazy. I, yo, I gotta get on that manga, man. I, I, I never started the Demon Slayer manga. Last I gotta get on year, that. It almost outsold One Piece, and with more season on the way, there is a big chance that the sales for Demon Slayer will increase this year. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially after the, the movie. Demon Slayer the hype the movie, bro? Online, anime for sure, dog. For sure. Festival, that season two of the hit anime will premiere this year. The season will adapt the Yukaku arc from the original manga. And a game's coming out for you. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer fans no will be eating the night, my boy. Demon Slayer the result, fans will be eating the night. The new the TV night. anime is formally named. I don't know if I can call myself a true, like a fan Yukaku fan yet. Not yet. In Japanese. I don't know what that manga is. It's almost reasonable to expect that the second season of Demon Slayer will be 26 episodes long. First. Although, there are a few circumstances that might make this unlikely to happen. In these 20 of Demon Slayer's first season, just over 50 manga chapters were adapted. The Entertainment District arc of Demon Slayer is just 30 chapters long. Mm. Cast and crew. The animation production for Demon Slayer Season 2 will still be handled by Ufotable, and the cast and crew from the first season will return for this. The main staff still includes Haru Sotozaki as the director of the Unfoldable team as scriptwriter. Okay. The anime so I guess same... are Yuki Kajijura and Goshina. And the character design is still under Akira Matsushima. Mm. Also, Hakiru Kondo maintains to be the director and producer of season two. All right, so they're coming the back with the same Demon casting. That's good. That's good. Because be I don't want this to be... Yo, in the one thing I don't want this to be is another One Punch Man season two incident. Where the casting people end up dipping and they had to switch over to a new freaking company and a whole new animation system. I don't want this to be a, a One Punch Man. Because remember, yo, remember back in 2015, the hype that's around One Punch Man, bro? People were saying, yo, One Punch Man, One Punch Man saved anime. Bro, yo, I will never forget that, bro. I remember, yo... One Punch Man saved anime. Bro, what? I will never forget that, bro. And, like, the same hypeness I'm seeing with Demon Slayer. I've never seen this much hypeness for an anime since One Punch Man. Demon Slayer is definitely, like, you know, it's crazy, man. 
And it sucks though, because One Punch Man, the hype has died down ever since you no know, season uh, two ended. Because the hype for season two is not even like it wasn't really that good. Season two was okay, but season one, bro. Oh man, dog, that anime, bro. It was good. It was solid. The One Punch Man anime was solid. Like season one was solid. And in terms of animation, storytelling, I mean, like, I mean, it really had no much depth to it. But it was, it was. Curse hype for anime since season two. So I'm hoping Demon, Demon Slayer does keep up that momentum because I really want to see how this. Because I love Demon Slayer more than One Punch Man. I'm not going to hold you. Um, I prefer Demon Slayer in terms of anime. I just, I, the, 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 I prefer Demon Slayer over One Punch Man because I, I don't get me wrong. The One Punch Man manga is actually really good. I actually read the manga and everything. I haven't read it in a while, but when I did read it, it was really good. Um, but I, but even still, I mean, if I love Demon Slayer from the freaking anime, I can only imagine. Uh, I'm going to love it in the manga, so, yeah. But I prefer Demon Slayer One Punch Man any day of the week, for sure. In terms of anime, but, yeah, that's just me. Um, but, yeah, I, I really want to see this anime to continue to grow. Um, is it one of the greatest anime? Like, well, no, it's not. Nowhere near it. It's definitely a great anime. It has a lot of potential to be up on that high level, for sure. I think Jujutsu Kaisen, in my opinion, is better than Demon Slayer. In my opinion, I prefer Jujutsu Kaisen. Because it definitely kind of reminds me of, like, Naruto, in a way. You know what I'm saying? It hits me in the way Naruto does. So, I prefer Jujutsu Kaisen over Demon. And I'm looking at me. I didn't really get understand the hype. I don't know. But, yeah, I watched that, Joe. I'm like, yo, this. I'm caught up, bro. I bodied the mess out of Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. I love all the characters in that show. And uh, I, fell in love with all, I fell in love with all the characters and everything, man. And uh, it's crazy. I didn't, like I said, I didn't really understand the hypeness with it, but yo, know, as time like once I started watching, I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it. So it's like one of my surprise. I prefer this over Demon Slayer. So Demon Slayer got some competition when it comes back, man. Uh, I don't know when Jujutsu Kaisen is gonna end. Or no, 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 Jujutsu Kaisen already ended. Cause I, I, I'm not caught up with it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm still catching up. I'm still catching up with Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not sure if it's ended yet. So if it is, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, Demon Slayer got competition for sure, man. But. No, that goes. English subtitled version. Therefore, Natsuki Hanai, Akari Kito, Hiro Shimono, and Yoshitsugu Matsukyo are all expected to come back. That's good. We're not having a one punch man incident. For the voice actors, Natsuki Hanai, who won at the ninth CI Awards as Best Rookie, will continue to be playing the role of the protagonist, Tanjiro Kamado. Also, Akari Kito will still be the voice actress for the character Nuzeko Kumaru. Also, Akari Kito will still be the voice actress for the character Nuzeko Kumaru. Akari made her acting debut in 2014 with Time Boken 24. Oh, and so she's, so she's, 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 she's kind of new. Big and leading roles. She's kind of new to the, uh, all to the voice of the acting scene. Wow, she's kind of new. One, 2014? Tanjiko, I mean, that's a long time, but Zuko, don't get me wrong, like... That's a long time, but if you want to compare that to somebody like freaking uh, the voice actor, like Japanese voice actors, like with freaking Goku from Dragon Ball Z, I mean, that, 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 this is done freaking like 30 something years or some shit, 35. That, that's, I mean, that's still 2014, that's a long time too, but she's new. She's new to the scene. Like, she just like hopped in this joint. And Ainosuke will return in season two of Demon Slayer, Kumetsu no Yaba. These characters recently developed a relationship with the flame Hashira, Kaiyojuro Rengoku, and learned a lot from her. However, season two introduces them to another powerful Hashira, Tenjen Yuzi. Synopsis. The storyline of Demon Slayer season two will be a direct continuation of the Muggin Train film, which picks up right where the first season started. The anime was a smash hit in Japan and abroad, with Tanjiro Kamado's quest to save his demon sister, Nezuko, featuring a sympathetic and relatable protagonist. In season one, Tanjiro Kamado has been shouldering the responsibility of helping his family since his father's death. The Kamado family, despite living in poverty on a remote mountain, can live in a relatively peaceful and happy life. One day, Tanjiro decides to sell charcoal in the nearby village to supplement his income. Mm. It was already as dark as night, and Tanjiro is forced to seek refuge in the home of a mysterious man who warns him of flesh-eating demons hiding in the woods at night. Mm. 
When he returns home the next day, he discovers a shocking sight. His whole family had been killed. Worse, his sister, Nezuko, had been transformed into a demon, leaving him as the only survivor. Tejuro Damn. swears to avenge his family and protect his only remaining sister. Tanjiro, working alongside the Egnomatic Demon Slayer Corps, would go to any length to slay the demons and save his beloved sister. The first season of Demon Slayer tells a relatively short tale that sets